Okay, so this is the Asus ROG Strix Gaming 2080 Super Video Card. This is a, a white card. We wanted to do, use this for the Snowblind build, which is going to be the Project Frost Knight. Um, this is an 8GB DDR6 uh, video card. It's going to be an exceptional uh, card for our build. Let's go and take a look. The Asus ROG series, they do a pretty good job with boxing and how things look. Uh, with this one, you happen to get a cool little ruler that shows you the different processors and different devices that are on the motherboards and the chips. Um, nice little steel ruler. And this is just a massive video card. Uh, we're really excited about putting this in here. This does require two 8-pin connectors. One of the things I, I dislike about both the pictures and the videos of, of the GPUs is that they never really show you which connectors come. Um, so you have to constantly look up tons of different video footage or um, pictures to see if it has an 8-pin or a 6-pin or an 8-pin and a 6-pin or two 8-pins like this one. Um, because I need to know what kind of cables to have for this or what kind of power supply to get. So if you guys are doing videos out there or even the manufacturers yourselves, if you guys could do a really good shot or a really good part of, about explaining about what connectors it has initially, especially with the with the 30 series coming out and the 3090 possibly having an 8-pin and a 12-pin or different pins, pin designs there, be really helpful to be able to see this. Um, on top of that, this is the back side of the card. This is going to look really good in our, in our build. We're actually going to put this in vertically so that way we can help shine on the LCD screen. And on this one that comes with, we've got a one HDMI, two display ports, another HDMI, and a USB-C. So you can see what kind of connections you can use here. You've got two display ports, two HDMIs, and one USB-C. This is the ASUS ROG Republic of Gamer Strix 2080 Super Overclock.